Easy Tank Listen. Today I'm going to dissect a 15 year old conventional tank type water heater. We're going to open it up and look inside and take a look at the deposits that form over long periods of time. Okay, honestly, I'm surprised by it. there's not really much sediment in this heater. It's 15 years old, as I had said previously, on a small town water supply. However, this is the reason that all tankless water heater manufacturers insist upon the water being filtered and or softened before it enters the heater. Because tankless water heaters don't have a tank, they have no area, no surface area internally to store deposits of sediment and iron and those things that are in untreated water. So I'm going to pick up this sediment here and show you what we have as a 15 year accumulation. And it actually looks like sand and here it is and so you can visualize how important it is to make sure your tankless heater doesn't have uh, sediment water entering it and to periodically flush the heater as we explain on our website. All of our heaters have a screen filter on the cold water intake track. It's exactly like the type used on a washing machine. This is not the filtration system. This is not a substitute for water filter and or water softener. This is a barrier to protect our heater. This heater will malfunction when this gets plugged. So therefore you can't presume that this is your filter. It's not. To extract it, to inspect it, I will use a pocket knife to get a hold of the corner of it and pull it out. To reinstall it, what works perfect is one of these markers. You can just put the screen on there and just put it right back inside. Pressing it up and there you go. Again, you must use a filter and or water softener system on anyone's tankless heater regardless of the manufacturer. In the next images you will see the screens from heaters that have been returned to us that malfunction. The one that is incredibly ugly was a well user and that is after only 10 days use. Obviously there was not a filter installed on this heater. Can you imagine this person drinks this well water that produced this much sludge in only 10 days and notice in the image there is hair and other unknown debris. In this image you can see the contamination is actually pipe thread sealant which accumulated in the screen and obstructed the heater and caused it to malfunction. Okay, so here we have your typical water filter that you would put on the incoming water side of your tankless heater, which would be the cold side, or you would want to filter the water in your whole home. And you change it about once a month, depending on how dirty your water is. This one is showing what it looks like. As you can see, the same color as the sediments that I pulled out of that tank type heater. And this would be the appearance of the filter when it's new. When you inflate this canister with the water, when you first turn it on, the filter swells up and, and it gets thick as it saturates. So you can look at the filter through the Lexan lens and then you just remove the cartridge here and change out the filter periodically. They're not very expensive and they're available at home improvement stores and hardware stores nationwide. They're fairly standardized.
Thank you for watching. You can find us on the net at eztankless.com.